We're recording? Oh, sorry about that. Just picked up the M18 fuel hatchet, and I'm going to do an unboxing on this and uh, try it out and see how it works. I've wanted these for a while. I saw it when uh, they, the M12 came out. I had the M12 impact driver, but I was kind of worried about the performance with the power being only 12 volt. So their impact driver is incredibly powerful for what it is, but when you think of a chainsaw, I figured it was just going to eat up the batteries. We got a manual. We got to buy our other stuff manual. And here is the way it comes in the box. Here is the tool itself. It has this blade guard on it. This is the 8 inch. And I am going to be testing this uh, with some other bars and chains. See if I can get this thing a little bit longer. This one has a built in tool right here. Similar how Ryobi does it. Uh, Ryobi pretty much puts the uh, whatever accessory you need inside the tool. So that's really convenient. And that just locks back into place. Really convenient. It feels really lightweight. It, it almost feels as light as the M12. And I do have a battery that I'll be sticking on here. Had to get some gloves while I was there. And I went with the Echo Bar and Chain Oil. For some reason in my Home Depot they had this locked up. This for some reason was just sitting out. And I'm surprised they didn't try to tackle me on my way to the door. This was $7.00. The saw by itself without the battery, no battery, no charger, was $319 for the saw. Comes with a three year tool warranty. It does have this nice uh, oil level. I'm not sure if you can see that. These are the CP 3.0 high output batteries. I do not have anything bigger than this. You got your. Uh belt hook or whatever you're gonna be hooking this on I guess if you're a, a tree climber then that will be good to hang on your belt so let's start this up and see how it works oh yeah I see this be very careful this is where the uh, the chips come out and I noticed just holding it like this for some reason something told me to hold it like this and put my fingers inside of there where the uh, saw blades turning so I, I'm probably gonna forget to hold my hands like this while I'm trimming uh, most likely I would probably be using this one-handed uh, but I, I just I hope I never f put my hands in there because it, it just feels like a natural place to put your hand while you're sawing so yeah be careful for that because I mean that there's nothing keeping your fingers from going in there all right, so this is what I'm gonna be clearing out right here. Uh, these palm, I think they're called palmettos or something. Yeah, they're all the way back there. And I think there's a row of them. Yeah, it goes all the way back there. Now I'm looking at this and I'm, I kind of maybe have went for the full size chainsaw the M18 chainsaw because the, the customer requests that these are cut at the base and it's going to be pretty difficult with that 8 inch blade again that's why I want to upgrade it to something bigger but uh, we'll see what we can do this one's a little bit smaller this one's probably I don't know 8 to 10 inches wide this one's probably a foot or two wide so yeah we'll, we'll just see how it works out really quick yeah this is gliding through these things You can tell this, this thing is fast. All 
Alright, I just noticed something I really don't like about this. As, as you can see, the oil kind of drips down this line. And it drips right into the side of the battery. starting to get it cleared out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have the issue with cutting this one down to the base. It's pretty thick. I'm going to have to bring something else back or put a longer bar and chain on it. This is the Oregon 14 inch bar and chain. This actually comes in a kit and uh, they have it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. But let me uh, just show you the size difference in comparison. This is the original eight inch bar and chain that came on it. Would sit about right here. So you can see all the extra length you've got. And I saw somebody do with this with a uh, M12 and I'll leave a uh, link to their channel in the description. But I, I was trying to cut a bunch of wide stuff with this and it, it just would not get around it. <clears throat> so I'm going to try it with this new bar and chain and uh, see if we get any difference. Um, see if it slows down at all. But uh, so far it's working so good. Yeah, no issues with it falling over either. That's one of my concerns was it was going to be too top heavy. And even with that 3 amp battery on there, it's still holding itself up pretty good. These are the uh, palm trees that I'm trimming. As you can see, they're fairly wide, probably one to two feet across. And I just wasn't able to get in there with that eight inch bar and chain. So I'm gonna try this new one out and see if uh, it stalls out or anything like that. Other camera not only but this is extremely impressive the thing did not stall out one time even with that longer bar and chain on it as you can see I cut all the way through and uh, started with three bars on the battery it's down to one now but that's just really crazy the thing did not stall one time it didn't even slow down might be a little different on hardwoods but it cut through this pretty pretty easily
Alright, here's what that same tree looks like now. Completely took it down to the stump. Batteries did. Oh, it must have overheated the battery. See the way it's flashing. All right, back with a fully charged battery.
think the tool is starting to overheat. Keep getting these weird. And then it'll say it's dead. And you push it again, it'll say it has like three bars. And now it's saying one bar. Now it's saying three. Yeah, I guess there is a limit to this tool. The uh, thing is completely overheated, I guess, and it will not start again. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to cool down. I did notice on my chain though, it's starting to get really sticky in here. So it's probably having a lot harder of a time moving the chain. And I think that's from uh, cutting whatever is wet inside of here. Yeah, it's, it's shut down for a second. I'm we'll have to wait for the battery to cool down. So we peel the chain off because that one's starting to get gummed up and I think this one is starting to do it too. So you can see like it's kind of like wet and looks sticky. These things like have like you know, syrup in them. What it seems like. So I guess when I get home I have to clean these out. Yeah. <sighs> 